Hi everybody, it's Violet Kitty, and this is just a real quick vlog about the nature of forgiveness. It seems to me that many people do not actually understand what forgiveness is. You see, the supreme act of forgiveness was found on a hill outside Jerusalem called Golgotha. 2,000 years ago, just about, when an innocent man bore the brunt of our transgressions against God so that we might be reconciled to that truly holy God. And because that example was set before us, we are in turn called to forgive one another. In fact, in the Lord's Prayer, Matthew chapter 6, there's a few renditions. One says, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us, or forgive us our trespasses, and trespass means to break the law, as we forgive those who trespass against us. But the version I really like that seems the most descriptive is when it says, Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. You see, when you have a debtor, that person has done collateral damage to you. Depending on the act, the collateral damage will be more severe. It could be an emotional trauma physical trauma, financial trauma. But there will be consequences which you have to absorb as Christ absorbed the consequences of our sins against Him. So we absorb the consequences of other people's sin against us. Not exactly fair, but that's the way things go. And forgiveness does not mean forgetting the transgression. It doesn't mean never hurting over it again. What forgiveness means is releasing your right, either real or perceived, to retaliate for the transgression. So if someone bears false witness against you. You don't go and bear false witness against the other person. If someone harms you, you do not harm them back. You show them love and thus heap hot coals upon their head. And hopefully, through this gentle nature, they will be brought to repentance. But even if they aren't, you are blameless before God for not retaliating. Remember, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. And sometimes the vengeance is found on this earth, but sometimes it's not. And we need to accept that God's ways are not man's ways. Forgiveness is an active decision. It's not passive. You don't do it because you feel like it. If we did, I can pretty much guarantee nobody would forgive anyone. Because we're much more inclined to carry a grudge than offer forgiveness. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Hmm. If you don't forgive somebody. Christ even challenged you. How can you expect the Father to forgive you? Again, it doesn't mean never hurting again. If somebody leaves physical scars on your body, you're going to remember it. You're going to physically hurt. But you don't have to give power to unforgiveness and give power to Satan in your life by harboring unforgiveness. 
We are called by our Father to love one another and do unto others as we would have them do unto us. And wouldn't you want somebody to forgive you? And that's all I have to say. BK out.